Well, Brown, I will do in the 1A seat. Contention 1. Assad's chemical weapon use is illegal and must not, must not go unpunished. Assad's Syrian government was behind its hack, not rebels. Forensic details in UN report to Assad's use of gas. New York Times, Rick Gladstone, and CJ Cybers. Data published 916.13, data of access 10.8.13. Because the weapons in question had not been previously documented or reported to be in possession of the insurgency, moreover, these weapons were fired by large, conspicuous launchers. For rebels to have carried out the attack, they would have had to organize an operation with weapons they are not known to have of considerable scale, sophistication, and secrecy. Moving the launchers undetected in positions areas under strong government influence or control, keeping them in place unmolested for a sustained attack that we have generated extensive light and noise, and then successfully withdrawing them, all without be being detected in any way. Sub so point B. Assad's attack was inhuman and illegal. Hillary Clinton's statement on Syria, the White House blog, data published 9613, 9, data of access 10813. The Assad's regime's inhuman, regime's inhuman use of weapons of mass destruction against innocent men, women, and children violates a universal norm at the heart of our global order. And therefore, it demands a strong response from the internal, international community led by the United States. Sub so point C. If left unchecked, Assad will use weapons again. Remarks is prepared for delivery by National Security Advisor Susan E. Rice. White House press release, whitehouse.com, 9613, 10, 10, 13. And the likelihood that left unchecked, Assad will continue to use we these weapons again and again takes the Syrian conflict to an entirely new level by terrorizing civ civilians, creating even, even greater refugee flows, and raising the risk that deadly chemicals would spill across borders in neighboring Turkey, Jordan, Lebanon, and Iraq. Obviously, the use of chemical weapons also directly threatens our closely, closest ally in the region, Israel. We people once again have ready gas, gas masks. Sub point D. Americans are at risk if no response is made. Remarks is prepared for delivery by National Security Advisor Susan E. Rice, White House Press Release, WhiteHouse.com, 9613, date of access 10 10 13. Every time chemical weapons are moved, unloaded, and used on the battlefield, it raises the likelihood that these weapons will fall into the hands of terrorists active in Syria, including, As including Assad's ally, Al-Qaeda affiliates. The prospect puts Americans at risk of chemical attacks targeted at sol our soldiers and diplomats in the region, even potentially at our citizens at home. Contention 2. A missile strike against Assad will deter him and terrorists from further chemical weapons use. Striking Assad would limit him going forward. So point President Obama's speech, AP English Word Stream 9-11-13-9-25-13. A strike would deter Assad from using chemical weapons to degrade his regime's ability to use them and to make clear to the world that we are not tolerate their use. That's my judgment as Commander in Chief. Sub point B. America must act to deter the future use of chemical weapons around the world. Secretary of State John Kerry, what message would U.S. acting in Syria send to Iran and North Korea? September 1st, 2013, September 14th, 2013. It is about whether Iran, which itself has been a victim of chemical weapon attacks, will now feel emboldened in the absence of action to obtain nuclear weapons, he said. It is about Hezbollah and North Korea and every other terrorist group or dictator that might ever contemplate the use of weapons of mass destruction. Will they remember the Assad regime was stopped for those weapons current or future use? Or will they remember that the world stood aside and created immunity, impunity? Sub point C. Strikes against Assad would be calculated. Remarks is prepared for delivery by National Security Advisor Susan E. Rice, White House Press Release, WhiteHouse.com, 9613, 10, 10, 13. Strikes could target a range of potential regime capacities to manage, deliver, or develop chemical weapons. Assad would discover that. Henceforth, chemical weapons offer no battlefield advantage relative to their cost of use. And if Assad is so brazen as to, act to use chemical weapons again, he would know that we possess the ability to further degrade his capabilities. Strikes would not lead to further war, sub point D. Remarks is prepared for delivery by National Security Advisor Susan E. Rice, White House Press Release, WhiteHouse.com, 9613, 10, 10, 13. So in short, this would not be an open inter inter intervention in the Syrian civil war. These strikes would not aim to topple Assad or by themselves affect the regime change. Doing so would require a much larger sustained military campaign, putting American forces in the center of this civil conflict. And as President Obama has made clear, it is neither wise nor necessary to do so. I now stand for cross-examination. Okay, your last sub point, sub point B, where you say that a limited strike won't break out into further war. How, how is that a guarantee? I mean, what happened in Iraq? We ended up going even further and further into it, and it still didn't stabilize the region. Well, the attack wouldn't necessarily lead um, to a war because you'd be attack attacking designed 
target is not to lead to war. We're not trying to topple the government, it's Assad's re a regime. We're trying to just topple, we're trying to just put a stop to this chemical weapons use, not lead to war. Obama has repeatedly said that. Okay, because we should always trust our president. Um, <laughs> Your sub point C for contention two worldwide uh, message will, if, if we don't send that worldwide message, Iran will feel empowered to use chemical weapons use, right? Yeah, what sub point? For contention two. Oh, sub point B, okay. Oh, yeah, is it B? Yes. Okay, America must act to deter the future use of chemical weapons use around the world. Okay, so you mentioned that Iran or, or terrorist groups will feel emboldened to to have to use more chemical weapons use if we don't attack, right? Yeah. Even though when they attacked us here at home on 9/11, terrorist groups, I don't think it was because no, that message wasn't sent out already. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Yes. So they could possibly still use them anyway, regardless if they get the message or not. Fair. You're never gonna. I mean, you're never gonna stop terrorists completely from using their weapons or terrorizing, that's what terrorists do. But if you allow a, a dictator to use chemical weapons on innocent civilians and you keep, you're just showing that you're not going to do anything to stop it. If you don't stop it, what's going to stop them from doing it again? You have to send a message. Thank you. Now we're here from the first negative constructive. You're creating separate files, yes, Ryan? Uh, 